cream as if like I always react and say fuck you to everyone. Why? But you do make it seem like that. You make it. You say you say she has anger issues. Like I just say, you're not cut out of. No, 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 guys. You. I'm sorry, Musuli. I'm on this one. Yeah. This is not a job. She can be whoever the fuck she wants to try. Ah, we're not saying it's a job, but she can say fuck you guys. Listen, there will be no consequences. Ah, listen, but. Guys, I am actually going to be starting this video with a very sound laugh. Please, you guys should please wait a minute. Did I hear Sinaye just now say, Yema can be whoever she wants to be. She can even decide to say, fuck you guys, and there will not be consequences about that. Did I just hear Sinaye imply that Liema is above the rules and regulation of the house and can do anything she wants to do and nobody will do anything about that. Honestly, a lot happened immediately after the Saturday night party and I will, you know, before I start this video, tell all of you guys that whoever that employed Sinaye to defend and to stand up and to fight and to go crazy for Liema, I really think the person knows exactly what Sinaye is really, really good at before giving him the work. Guys, the way Sinaye stood up, the way Sinaye defended, the way Sinaye fought, the way Sinaye went crazy against all the housemates just because of Liema. Ha! Guys, honestly, I have not seen something like that before. Like, Sinaye was fighting the battle as though it was his own personal battle. In fact, he was doing the job as though he was paid to do that. Guys, I saw something that really shocked and surprised me. In fact, Big Brother and Sinaye, they are two we are seriously working tirelessly to make sure that Liema did not, you know, overreact and do something that will get her disqualified from the show. Even though the housemates are seriously saying that Liema had already done enough to be disqualified from the house, but Big Brother and Sinaye are saying that Liema can be whoever she wants to be, Liema can do whatever she wants to do in the house, and the nothing, no consequence will be meted out for that. Guys, we are in for another interesting hot gist that I know you don't want to miss out from any part of. So, go ahead, watch to the end of this particular video, subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell button, and do not forget to like and share this particular video. Honestly speaking, my expectation yesterday of the Saturday night party, I was thinking that, okay, the night party was going to be boring, nothing would definitely happen, but to my Greatest shock and surprise, honestly speaking, yesterday night party was one of the hottest night party ever in Big Brother Nzamzi season 4 mansion. It was dramatic, it was lively, all thanks to Big Brother for bringing a lively DJ that actually held it down. Like that DJ knows his work. Guys, just take a look. <laughs> Honestly speaking, the DJ was gracious enough to know that there were a few housemates in the house and he needed to do what he needs to do in order to make sure that the few housemates that are still remaining in the house are not bored. And the DJ, he really came through. Honestly speaking, he killed it. Like, he brought in all the heat that is required to put up a fire on the dance floor and the housemates, they reciprocated, they responded. They took it well and, you know, gave us a show. All thanks to Liema, Mpumi, Mac Jr. and Willie. Guys, honestly, Willie, Young Papi, despite the fact that Young Papi and Z, they were having some kind of back and forth during the party, that did not even stop Young Papi from enjoying himself to the fullest. Z was seated on the chair. Initially, I don't know if it was because of the dress and the crown she was putting on. That was why she was not really dancing a bit. It was because of the shoe because later she went outside. She went and changed her shoe. Then when she now came back, she now picked up. That was when it really 
picked up. So while Z was seated, there was a conversation between Z and the Papa Ghost. Honestly, you know, we couldn't hear, we did not even know what it was all about. So they were there talking. After Papa Ghost and Z must have had their conversation, we now saw young Papi and the Papa Ghost. Honestly, Papa Ghost was all over the place having random conversation with Sina Ye with almost I don't know, before Papa Ghost even joined and started dancing, he must have had conversation with almost all the housemates, even though it wasn't all the housemates. But guys, I was just like, uh uh, is there any problem in the dance hall? What is happening? Why is Papa Ghost doing media run inside the party? Oh, so aside from that, the party was lit, it was perfect, it was sweet, it was smooth. And guys, honestly speaking, the friendship with Lima and Mac Jr. it have unlocked a whole lot of things about Mac Jr. we never knew we could see. During the party yesterday, Mac Jr. and Lima dance step, dance move. Every, you know, it started from the kitchen when they were cooking in the afternoon. So they extended it to the party hall. Honestly speaking, it was quite so, so beautiful to see. Mac Jr. is no longer the lonely dancer we used to know him to be. He is now bubbling. He is always jiggling and happy around Lima and willing and wholeheartedly want to, you know, do anything to make Lima. I don't know if it is to make Lima happy or to even make himself happy as well. So for the success of yesterday night party, I really think Lima, Mpumi, Willy, Willy, Willy Fred, honestly speaking, that guy can dance for Africa. Willy can dance as though he is winning money for the dancing. Mark Jr., Young Papi, guys, these five people that I mentioned right now, they carried the show from the beginning. In fact, they were the one that made it possible for us not to be bored at the beginning part of the uh, party. So they carried the party from the beginning, even though before the end of the party, all the housemates, they followed suit because of the fact that the DJ was lit. That was that for the party. I really think that the party was not bored at all. Then immediately after the party, guys, I did not see any fight happen. I did not see any quarrel. I did not see anything. So I was now shocked and surprised that there was a fight in the kitchen. So remember, immediately after the party, we saw Mark Jr. and Lima at the toilet area having serious and funny conversation that I really think we'll be talking about in our next video. After the conversation, before we now know it, we now saw Lema in the kitchen area trying to prepare something for the housemates to eat. Then, Makeke was there, Sinayo was there, Willy was there, and Papa Ghost joined. Then, I, I, I really think almost all the housemates was there, excluding Young Papi and Z, who was at the toilet area doing some shocking and incredible stuff. And uh, Mark Jr., who was not really part of the conversation that he had to, you know, go to bed early. So these three people were not there. But other housemates, they were there with Liema. That was how a serious argument burst out between Makeke and Liema. Liema really got offended that why would Makeke always be saying that she have anger issue, she did this, she did that, that she do not like the fact that this housemate making it seem as though she is the only one that have anger issue, she is the only one that, you know, be flaring up without any cause, like she really got peace, most especially at Makeke, like she took out all her anger, all her annoyance on Makeke, Makeke was as well not having it at all as Makeke was seriously defending himself putting up a fight against Liema, but Sinaye, who was Liema's advocate and spokesman at that particular point in time, really got offended that anybody could have made Liema to be that angry. In fact, the way Sinaye was solidly defending Liema to the extent that he said that he is siding with Liema on this one, that Liema can say fuck you to everyone, Liema can be whoever she wants to be. In fact, implying that Liema could do anything she wants to do in that house and nobody will do anything about it i'm like okay okay oh, guys that was how big brother when the matter got heated when the matter got you know when the housemate most especially makeke have really got fled up was now exposing a whole lot big brother decided to take out the camera from where they were guys my annoyance was not that they took out the camera from where this housemate were having that argument exposing a whole lot that lima have already 
done. No, that was not my annoyance. My annoyance was that they were now showing us Mac Jr. who was lying down. Meanwhile, Z and the young puppy, they were at the toilet area creating serious content as at that particular point in time. In fact, the kind of content Z and young puppy we are creating, it would have been better they took us to where those people were because it wouldn't have been so obvious. We, the viewers, wouldn't have, you know, really noticed that, okay, Big Brother was trying to shade something. That is the reason why he decided to took at the camera. In fact, he took away the camera to where Mac Jr. was lying down at some point when he wanted to go back to the kitchen area where the major argument was happening. It was at that particular point in time that Makeke was talking about Liema spitting and some other crazy shit Liema did. Immediately, the camera quickly Turn down their volume and continue showing us Mac Jr. who was lying down without even doing anything. He was just lying down in peace. It was at that particular point in time that it was really obvious that, whoa, Big Brother is really doing something. Big Brother is seriously doing something. Well, this is where I'll be ending this particular one. Let's see in our next video and talk more.